Uh, hey guys, I have something kind of fun for you today. This is the original Game Boy camera, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. Um, it's a black and white, really pixelated camera for your old Game Boy. And you can put it on um, a Game Boy Color, but it's still not going to produce a color image, um, even on the backlight versions. It's still only going to, the Game Boy Color will add a color palette to your screen, but the image is still just four colored uh, monochrome. Um, but there's this really old technique, I believe it's called trichrome, where they take three different uh, color filters, red, green, and blue, and they take three separate exposures in black and white um, through each um, color filter. So when you take a picture through a blue filter, for example, that, that's going to let in blue light, but not much else. And you take a picture through red, and it's going to only let in red light, etc. So what we can do is take three separate exposures and then take those three black and white images, which will look slightly different, and then combine them in Photoshop on the, the color channels. And that should be able to produce a full color photo from this black and white Game Boy camera. So I'm excited to test this out. Let's see if it works. So I've set up a little scene here with Mario and Pikachu and Kirby, and I think there's enough variety of color for this to produce a nice image. So now what we're going to do is take three separate exposures with uh, the three different color filters here. So we'll do them in order. We'll do red first. So I'm pretty much just going to take the red filter and put it over the, over the camera. And make sure it's on there pretty well. And then... As soon as the exposure kind of adjusts to that, I will take the picture. And then I'm going to do green. Let it adjust. And finally blue. Okay. Okay, so next we're going to need to be able to transfer the pictures to the computer. So I have this little adapter thing from uh, Ben Venn, and basically what this does is it allows you to connect your uh, Game Boy to directly to here, and then when you go to print the photo, it outputs that information onto a little micro SD card instead of a Game Boy printer. So we just connect that up to the power here like this. And green light comes on. And then you choose your image. And I need to export these in order. So I, know, I remember red, green, blue, red, green, blue. Um, so I go to print. And it says transferring. And we can go ahead and Disconnect this. Take out the micro SD card. I'm just using this little adapter to get it into my computer. And there we go. So you can see the color differences. Like his hat is red, so it shows up pretty well as like really bright on the red version, on the red filter but not on the others. So now in Photoshop, what we need is a 160 by 144 RGB color document. And you can see it's pretty tiny. These, these uh, images are pretty tiny. So I'm going to take these three and load them up into, or I'm going to open them in separate files here. So this is the first one. This is the, uh, the red. So I'm going to copy that. 
select it all and copy it and go into our our document here and we go into the channels tab and go under red only red and then paste okay you don't see much yet because we only have one channel so now i'm going to go into green and do the same thing so here's green go to the green channel and paste it so now it's starting to look something you can actually see some red in his hat and then finally let's add some blue so we go to the blue channel and voila and there we go a full color image from a game boy camera okay so i went ahead and uh, took a few more photos um, this one was a cover of goosebumps the haunted mask and you can see it's before it's in black and white and then finally there's a there it is in color um, this was a nintendo uh or not sorry a nickelodeon uh, clock and there's full color it's pretty good uh, this one came out really well i took i put a whole bunch of game boy colors on the table and color you can actually really tell this one's kiwi berry dandelion teal and atomic purple you can even tell that, that one's atomic purple which is kind of fun uh, so I guess that's it for this one, you guys. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I guess it's not very useful to be able to uh, take pictures in color with a Game Boy camera, but it's kind of fun. And uh, it's just really interesting to see if it would work, and it, it, it kind of does. So um, yeah, leave me your comments below. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, helps me out. And um, there's a new uh, link below to my Patreon. Um, if anybody, out, if anybody out there wants to, to donate to me, it would really help. So, um, yeah, really appreciate it. And um, stay tuned. I have a lot more tutorials and other videos coming out soon. So I will see you next time.